hello everyone in our today's video i'm gonna show you how you can deploy this website in Vercel and netlify for free and even if it doesn't have any website don't be worried because i'm gonna give you that website for free okay and see the feature of this website if you click on the feature button it will take you to the feature and also you can scroll through all other setup it's simple react applications and if you just go through it you will understand it better so it can help you through the way you conduct your uh, development uh, environment and even if you have no understanding about website making about react application don't be worry because you just need to have three things in your computer you need to install that node.js in your computer go to that node.js and get that lts version one and then also you need to install that git by which we're gonna uh, focus with that to github and also you need to install that uh, visual studio code because that's the editor I'm gonna use. And by the way, you need to have account in a github.com. You need to have your own GitHub account. And also you need to open an account in versal.com to deploy in Versal and also to deploy into Netlify in that netlify.com and by the way if you have that GitHub account, you can link open the account through that GitHub account. So that don't be worried. So that's the GitHub account is you need it and you can get it by just having an email. So today I'm going to give you this website and I'm going to show you how you can deploy it in Versal and Netlify. And this website will be available in that GitHub repository from where you can clone it. And then I'm going to show you that procedure and also it will be available through Google Drive. I'm going to provide the link for you and whoever gonna follow this one like if you have already a website you can just skip that part you can go to the deployment portion and whoever doesn't have website or maybe have or you want to use my one you can feel free to follow through me so what i'm gonna do i want to clone this website so i will just copy that one and i have one folder over here somewhere in the desktop let's go and it will be youtube yt so what i'm gonna do I'm going to open that in my code editor. So now let's go and git clone. I'm going to clone my repo over here. That's the same way you can do because that repo is public. You can clone it or either way, if you don't want to clone, actually, you can just go to the code. You can download the zip file, then unzip it, that in, then install the, all the dependencies, which I'm going to do it now. That's simple. Okay. So let's see. Let it go, just give you time to clone it. So as you see, it's already has been cloned. Let's put Alice. So let's go to CD modern payments. And now I'm gonna open it in my code editor. So, okay, that's my editor is open. I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger so that you can see it perfectly. So now what I will do, I will just open my terminal from here because I need to install all the dependencies for that. So let's go to open my git bash. And now if you are using the yarn, you can put the yarn add or just put yarn. It will install all the dependencies. I'm using the npm. So I'm going to just type npm install. So it will now going to install all the dependencies for it. Now this website is written by white so that's uh, i just use it to create that by white and the simple structure over here i'm going to explain you but so to run that application what you need to do you need to do that npm run dev so it will open that in you know, our application in local server now it will not be in localhost 3000 because we are using that white so it will go to that localhost 5173 so let's open that website over there as you see that's the same website that's the same website you're gonna have it over here okay now it's running in our local host so this is the website if you want to change anything let's just give you uh, by the way it's not a video where i'm gonna show you how you can create a website it's about the deployment okay but i'm gonna give you that free website if you have it doesn't have any website to like uh, the uh, host in uh, anywhere if it doesn't have any react website so it's that for that purpose i'm giving you that website okay so just try to understand the structure in the source folder i have everything like i have my assets whatever assets i'm gonna use like the discount or dropbox all the assets is available over here 
and then I will I'm having one components all the single part components is over here like I have my our banner over here right sorry the header so that's my never you can call it never also and now I want to change something like it's a name it's a feature I want to keep it as a product so how from where are you gonna do it you see the nav links I'm getting the data through that nav links which is coming from the constants that's constants go index and I'm getting that data from that never link so this is the features right and ID is the feature I'm giving so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just go with that products let's see you see that's change the products product because I have another products also so that's the way you can modify through or you can also modify that text like uh, go to in that our where is our hero section yes that's the section so that's way you can just uh, what I'm gonna do instead of putting that generation generation let's just put lorem 5 you see that's changing so that's the way if you want to change feel free to go with that you can change it here so now we, we are not gonna change anything over here and by the way this website is fully responsive if we just uh, copy that and open our response nature just to show you how responsive it is it's responsive for all the devices available in today so as you see in this smaller skin you're gonna go once you click you can also navigate through the projects and it's available for all the screen sizes it's fully responsive okay so it's a complete website which can really give a credit to your portfolio even you have a new website you can give it a try for it okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just close my terminal and for that one which I have actually you see the git is over here so it's already linked through the github link we just clone it so you cannot deploy it right now because it's connected to my link so we need to remove that one okay so you can do it by just uh, delete that folder okay or you can do also from the common light that rm space then slash rf dot git and start so it's gonna remove all the git dependency from here so if i just type that git status you see it's going to my main folder because there is nothing initialized so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just initialize git over here as you see now git in it if i just put that git status that git is already initialized over here and also as you see we doesn't have any git ignore file over here maybe by default it will not be initialized in your machine also so whenever we're gonna push through that node modules we don't want to push it you see there is a pop-up yes i want to install uh, like initialize a git uh git dot uh, dot git ignore file as you see uh that is the git ignore file so it will just uh, bypass all the node modules because we don't want to send it to our github so what I'm going to do, I'm going to just git at, I'm going to add everything and I'm going to just commit, git commit and you need to put M for the message and it will be initial commit. So now it has been created. Now how we can like uh, pass it to, to GitHub. So what we need to do in your account, in the sections of repository, you need to create one repository, repository over here. So let's... Uh, modern payment yt so we're gonna open that repository you can either keep it public or private the way you want so i'm gonna create that repository and after creating what we need to do we need to link that repository through our project over here and there is a several way we can do it we can make it with that uh, git remote way because we have done already the other things so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna paste it over here so now that git is connected with this repository now you can also do that one git push you origin main so either because in my over here is master so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna type master maybe in your machine it will be main just type whatever is available there so now it's already push it through if I just uh, refresh it you see everything is available over here so now I want to deploy it in Versal, okay? And for to do that, I'm gonna go with my dashboard in Versal. If you doesn't have any account, maybe you need to log in 
through the github you can log in or you can open your account through email it's very simple just go to versal.com you can do it easily so what we need to click we need to do it in add new we're gonna add a new project over here and we're gonna get that project you see the import from git repository is automatically getting everything for us you see the modern day payment is available so we're gonna import that project for us let's deploy over here now remember we are not passing any node modules over here so what it gonna do it gonna fetch all the node modules all the dependencies whatever requiring for that and then it gonna build our project as you see it's taking everything and as much as that's done our project is ready it's very fast to deploy universal so just we are already in the over here let's go to continue to dashboard and our project is live you cannot see the preview because my network is a little bit slow let's click over here and it's gonna open our as you see it's modern day payment yt.versal.app so that is our project is already run and with that actual https okay you can actually add it in your portfolio it can really be a good handy project okay so in that way and there is also some other way where which is the versal cli which i'm not recommending it's a very much uh, it's easy to with that uh, github and it's also much more secure now it's time to do the same thing deploy as free in netlify and to do that i'm gonna log in to my netlify account if you doesn't have the account you can sign up with github because i created with github and you, if you, even you have the gitlab or git bucket you can do the same now i am already here in my dashboard so i will add a new site and i will import it from that existing site and i want it from the github so it will just fetch all the repositories available there and now let's search that one modern payment yt and i think yeah as you see it's find out our repository and now yes we want it from the master everything's right let's deploy the site so it's the same way same procedure it will follow also it will fetch all the node modules all the dependencies available for our web application whatever application we have then it will build it and also run it so now as you see it's getting everything it's building from and all other things is complete because we build it with white so it's very fast okay so now i think we're gonna having a preview where we can see our site is already deployed so let's just load that one so this is our website and also it's coming with that netlify.app as you see that's our full functional website is running in netlify with https and is for free now we can actually edit that one because it's not looks that much good and you can do it with that uh, site setting and i think it's somewhere over here domain management because i'm not using netlify that much i really love the versal so yeah here you can edit the site name so i'm gonna give the same one modern payment yt let's hit the save i think yeah we are getting that so let's click over there and you can see we are it's already site name is changed and everything working fine so trust me it just giving you an understanding how you can deploy your react application freely in versal and also in netlify so don't be worried if you don't understand that website much more because i know it's not that much easy to understand someone's code i'm just giving you that code try just to understand how you can deploy so if you are curious about how that has been done feel free to do it and also if you have some suggestions because you're gonna clone my uh, work from here right because i'm gonna give that link over here oops wait it will be I think yeah that's the one i'm gonna give you the link so you can actually commit through to me so if your commit is good i'm gonna also deploy it okay so feel free to try it and wish you all the best for that video and we'll see you in the next video